a guy do this in a toothpaste ad once. Ta-da! Hey! Hello! Hello! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in, everyone. We are going to make a tier list today. Everyone, uh, take a sip of a water because there's going to be some big news I'm going to share with you, okay? I have murdered four people and I've hid their bodies in somewhere in Michigan. And if you find them, go ahead and win you a $500 Roblox gift card. Let's not tell the police. Keep that up. Uh, you what? Eye. All right, let's get started. So I was going to go ahead and make this video uh, by myself today, but I already know for a fact that this is going to get a, a lot of hate. A, a lot of people are going to poop on this live stream and this video just because it was it's my opinion. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's let's do it together. Okay, it is Christmas time. I got my uh, Christmas music or Christmas music. It's not Christmas. I'm just kidding. But I got a Christmas tree. This is the one we got last year. Thought I'd bring her out again. Her name's Judy. Okay, so let's respect Judy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 weapons here in the game. I've included all of the weapons in Guts and Black Potter that you can use in your inventory. So we're not gonna include cannons or stuff like that, but basically everything here to where you can kill zombies in the game. We got the blunderbuss, the pistol. I think this is the stake, grenades. This is the carbine rifle, the hand axe, the knot gun, the sapper's axe, the saber, and the musket, of course. So we'll throw them all into tiers here. I get S, A, B, and C. Okay, yeah. you know what? Let's include the other two. I didn't even think about that. See, this is why we're doing this live, because I would have messed up already. Like, I'm sorry. I'm going to get flashbang here. Ah! There we go. We got them on the end there. We got the objective map weapons. Let's get let's get started. So the first weapon we have here is the blunderbuss. The blunder, if I see anyone even say... What I was just about to say, they're getting banned. The blunderbuss fires 15 pellets, does 30 damage per pellet, has a high spread, low penetration, and a slow reload. So overall, 15 times 30. What is that, guys? 450. We're good at math over here. <laughs> 10 out of 9 people cannot do math correctly. So just think about that. And give me some explanations to why you think it deserves to be in a specific tier. Okay, damage good for swarms. You've died too much to them. We all agree that um, Blunderbuss users are in the C tier. You know what would be perfect for this, right? Engaging with the audience. Let's start a damn poll. Got a poll in the chat. Just vote S, A, B, or C. Up to you guys. I can't believe I thought of that on the spot. I totally didn't see someone in chat say that. And I'm not stealing your thunder. A tier it is. A tier it is. S tier was next, 25%. Kissing face. 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 Kissing face, kissing face, kissing face, kissing face, kissing face. Welcome in LH. If you thought that was weird, trust me, it, it, it gets weirder. All right, next we have the pistol. This is the weapon for the officer. The pistol has 85 damage, a fast reload, less accuracy, and low penetration. When people use the pistol as the officer, I'm assuming they're mainly using it just to kill bombers or to kill zombies that have grabbed teammates and stuff like that, right? Good for bomber and clearing small rooms, I agree. Low penetration, it can't really snipe with it. Yeah, doesn't Guts and Black Powder have a mechanic in the game where, like, you could be aiming at a zombie, but looking at the stats of a weapon, it could possibly miss. So I think B tier is, is gonna be for the pistol. You guys voted B tier. Okay, next we have the stake. This is the melee weapon for the chaplain class, and that's it. Did you guys know the stake does more damage than the hand axe when you're attacking a sapper? Did anyone know that? The stake overall is actually one third of the sapper's axe and almost half of the hand axe. That's just, you know, going against any other zombie than the sapper. But if we're talking about zappers, the hand axe actually has a nerf where they do 54.5% less damage to a zapper. So if you take that deduction to the hand axe's base damage, which is 45, the hand axe is going to do 24 damage and the stake is doing 25. So it does like one damage more, which is really not that noticeable, but it's like something to take account for. C tier, that does not surprise me. Even though the stake has like that one up on the hand axe, it's really not that good a weapon. So stake tickles zombies. And with that, we're moving on. Next, we have the grenade. The grenade can only be used on the infantry officer, blunderbuss, and the sapper class, and that, that's it. This is probably going to be the most interesting one out of all of the choices that we have here, because this is the only utility for weapons that can kill zombies that you can equip. Very situational, good for abusing spawn points of zombies. Grenade B, because you kind of need to learn how to use it properly, but after you learn how to use it, it's going to be a beast. They change the way grenades work with the bouncing, right? You can kind of just toss them, and they go in the general area this time. When grenades first came out, it was like a freaking bouncy ball. My first experience with the grenade was cooking it. A zombie grabbed me, 
and it dropped right next to me and I blew up. Okay, we got grenade. You guys chose grenade for a B tier. Next, I think that's the carbine. This is the other rifle for the infantry class. The carbine does 95 damage, moderate accuracy, moderate penetration, a swift reload, and there's no bayonet on it, which is kind of a minus. This is why the musket is better than the carbine, in my opinion, because that bayonet is literally amazing. If you guys want to know the damage the musket does, that does 120 damage. And the carbine does 95 damage. If you say below A, you're crazy? Really? For the carbine? Carbine A, because if you know how to aim, then it could be a better than the musket. Over that, it's a really good weapon to use. I do see if someone wants to be more of a backliner, I suppose carbine's all right. It just jumped up to A tier. Carbine's at A tier. And I was at B tier for a little bit. It looks like carbine's gonna be A tier. How close is it? I wanna see the percentages. 35% and 33%. Carbine's at A. That is what y'all voted for. The hand axe is next. If you guys don't vote for what I think it's gonna be, I'm gonna murder you all with the hand axe. S tier, A tier. It's gotta either be S or A. Oh my god, who said bad? The hand axe can only be used on the Blunderbuss class and the infantry class. The hand axe does 45 damage, a moderate swing rate, short range, and zappers are resilient against it. It's bad worse than saber. Saber's the best. Oh my god, coffee addict. Who voted C tier? Someone voted C tier. My argument stands the hand axe is good, but its range really spills it all for me. Hand axe is A tier. It's really good with the damage. The resilient does make it a problem, but if you have a weapon, then it's not really a problem. All right, S tier for hand that does not surprise me. We're going to throw that bad boy in S tier. What y'all got for the not gun? The not gun is the other weapon for the blunderbuss class. This is the same weapon that arrived with the carbine in the Halloween update. All right, the not gun does 250 damage per pellet. And I'm pretty sure there's seven barrels on this thing. Seven times 250 is 1,750 damage. That is almost times four of the blunderbuss. It has the longest reload in the game though. This does take a while, but you can pause it whenever you want to. Very long reload, but you can like control the reload, which makes it pretty good. What, it, what is everyone voting for? A tier at 37%. Looks like knockguns can be an A tier. Okay, next is the sapper's axe. This can be only used on the sapper's class. It's called the axe, but I'm just going to call it the sapper's axe. This thing does 85 damage. It has the slowest swing rate in the game it does average range and this thing does have a headshot damage multiplier this is the only melee weapon that has a headshot damage multiplier even though this thing has a slow swing rate you're really not going to notice it when you're playing when you melee in this game it's all about timing and like you'll learn a different timing using the sapper's axe sapper axe gives american psycho vibes sapper axe uh, a because of the slow swing rate what's the only negative that this axe has would it it's pretty much the swing rate that's the only negative thing that this melee weapon has and that it can only be used on one class which kind of sucks literally a beast with bugle and the charge oh my god yeah, i didn't even think about that if someone had a bugle and the charge on activated at the same time that thing would be amazing but i mean wouldn't that be for like every melee weapon all right i'm gonna end the poll s by a long shot actually wow hand axe and the sapper's axe so far are the only two s tier weapons now we have the saber this is going to be another interesting one the saber can be used on pretty much like every single class in the game besides the chaplain and the sappers and if you want the stats this thing does 30 damage damage and has an average swing rate and range this thing is faster than the hand axe and it's faster than the sapper's axe but it's slower than the stake you misclicked b wow it's at s tier y'all are voting s tier decent damage and swing rate as well as the it's pretty much like the normal melee weapon the big thing is it's probably because it can be used on like almost every single class right one shots runners and the stake doesn't looks like s tier almost all of the melee weapons we went over have been ranked higher than the weapons in the game besides the stake that thing's just like that that one cat that doesn't get adopted at the shelter it just stays there what do you guys think the musket should be voted at this thing with the officer charge for those who don't know instantly kills zombies any zombie you go against all right the musket does 120 damage it's very accurate or it's accurate it has a bayonet on the end of it it does high penetration and it has a slow reload so compared to the carbine it does more damage it is more accurate it has a higher penetration the only negative that the musket has over the carbine is the reload the musket takes longer to reload but otherwise it's like amazing musket is worse than my lawnmower but at least it's better than my carbine it has to be s tier it's an amazing weapon that could be overpowered with the officer charge the gun itself is also very decent with amazing damage i agree ending pull s tier is what you guys decided the musket should go in? I think that sounds good. When are you wearing the maid dress you bought on stream? Huh? You you must be watching someone else. There ain't no way I bought a maid dress on stream. Y'all are- I'll be wearing it next stream. The last two here, actually, we have the objective weapons in the game. The first one we're gonna do is the shovel. So where do you guys think the shovel should go? This is the objective weapon you can find on Vardas. 
that is Russian, right? The shovel and the sledgehammer have swing rates just like the sapper's axe. They have the slowest swing rates in the game, and they don't really do that much damage. I'm pretty sure the shovel does the same damage as the saber, right? This deserves to be a C. It's basically a saber, but worse. Yeah, okay, it does do pretty much the same. Actually, you know what? The shovel pr probably has, like, farther range. And you can only use the shovel on Vardas Fortress, so put that into account as well. You can't use the shovel on any other map. This stream sucks. Dude, you are absolutely correct. Make sure you go in the comments and, and tell me down there as well. So I'm assuming C tier is the winner, right? Not even close. Yeah, look at that. C tier by 60% pretty much. Crazy. All right, the final one we have here is the sledgehammer. This one, I wouldn't be surprised if it's put in B tier. And I'll talk about that after I make the poll. Sledgehammer, I can see being in B tier specifically for the chaplain class. That's that's pretty much it. JMT in May dress. I just screamed without the S. Also, show me your wrestling skills, JMT. Romantic face, romantic face, kissing face, kissing face, in bed, smirking face, smirking face. Saved you multiple times in catacombs. It does the same damage. I think it does. I'm pretty sure the sledgehammer and the sapper's axe are like literally the same thing. Sw same swing rate. It might do less damage though. I really don't know. Priest is not good for fighting in general. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a support character. The same damage, same penetration, but it makes you move slower. True. You move extremely slow with the sledgehammer. So this is what we got. Oh, yikes. Yo, this, see, this is why I love doing this with you guys. <laughs> I've done tier list videos in the past on like, um, on other games that I've done. And there's always that side of the community that's like, okay, I hate JMT now because this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And why would he put that in a specific tier? But now I can say that we did it all together and that it's not just my thoughts. Y'all happy with this? Y'all happy with this? In the S tier, we have the hand axe, the sapper's axe, the saber, and the musket. Some pretty solid S tier weapons. And then in A tier, we have the blunderbuss, the knot gun, and the carbine. And the B tier, we have the pistol, the grenade, and the sledgehammer. And in the C tier, we have the stake and the shovel. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna stop recording now. Do you guys wanna say goodbye to YouTube or something?